as I prayed about it, um, he put two places on my heart. Um, the first one was Chihuahua, Mexico. It was very specific. Um, and then the second one was Peru. I wasn't anywhere in Peru. It was just Peru. Even though, you know, the mission is more or less the exact same anywhere you go, yeah. hearing about Peru was something different. Second Timothy 4, 1 through 5. Um, basically, it just talks about being strong in your in your convictions because the world will come to a place where people don't care about truth, people don't care about doctrine, people don't care about um, what the Word of God says, and they'll create teachers and create doctrines according to their their own will and according to what they desire and and all those things, which is exact, exactly where we see the world at now. Matthew six thirty three, where it says, "Seek first the kingdom of heaven and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you." Yeah. And that it starts in your own walk with the Lord, and then that just overflows in into the, the lives of the people around you. Mm-hmm. Nice. We're going to do the Lord's work in these places. We're going to share the gospel, which has such an incredible impact, and it's such an incredible thing. Like, get excited. Like, yeah. when you're support raising, get excited because <laughs> you're doing this incredible thing. Mm-hmm. I think at the end of the day, why we're missionaries is because we read the word and decided to follow it. Mm-hmm. You know, like we read where it says, go and do this so we're going and we're doing this you know at the end of the day it's just obedience to god's word any number like you can pick a handful of scriptures and at least one of them will tell you to go out and teach people the word you know there's there's no getting around it there's no getting away from it it's not just that one section in matthew it's the whole bible is the story of we were in relationship with our creator we sinned and right from the get-go, he created a plan to bring us back into relationship with him. And now we get to help our fellow man come to that realization that we walked away from our creator. We need a savior to bring us back into relationship with him. So here's how you do it. That's, you know, you can't get around that if you read the Bible.